Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 11th. Keep in mind the timing is fluid. Yesterday I had some business to take care of, so uh, yeah, I do apologize, but I just, something came up. Um, my my fingers have taken a beating. They have my fingers and my hands have taken a beating. So, uh, pardon, pardon the appearance. Um, so, what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Well. We have the Empress, first and foremost. So, the Empress is the birth of something new. So it's the birth of something new, conception of something new. Creating something new. Five of Pentacles reversed. Okay, Eight of Cups saying goodbye to something. Somebody is saying goodbye. This is some sort of turning point. We have a turning point here. Somebody is saying goodbye to something that is emotionally disappointing. Uh, turning their back. The, it, this is... Uh, You know, this is the end of uh, a painful experience. We have the beginning of a new life here. Headed towards abundance after being in a state of lack. Now this is a blessing. Receiving a blessing. It's the end of stagnation, right? It is. This is this is the beginning. So this is a new beginning here. It's the end of waiting. Okay, it's the end of waiting for something. We have somebody here that is creating a new life, right? The hermit going within, planning, planning. Somebody is planning their next move. Reflecting on everything that has happened. There's been some sort of abandonment, but it's over, or neglect, or hard times. But this 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 going within and planning is serving you. So this is going within and planning your next move. Saying goodbye to something that hurt you, that abandoned you, that ghosted you. This is the end of that. It is because nines are about closure. It's reflecting and thinking and planning. So somebody is, is planning their next move. So it's going to be a time of planning, okay? So right around the 11th, this is going within to plan, to create that new life. Creating that new life does require saying goodbye to something because that is what the Eight of Cups is. Oh, goodbye to something that uh, left you. Okay, this per whatever, whether you maybe you were felt abandoned or you were abandoned as a child or you're abandoned by another person, you know, that's saying goodbye to that abandonment or that victim mentality, even. You know, this is becoming wiser for it. So this is a card of wisdom. Now it's now it's time to plan the next move. So on this day, it will be reflecting and planning. Planning the new life, right? Time's up. It's time. It's definitely time. It's time for... Uh, the blessing. It's time for the miracle. It's time for the new life. It's time for unconditional love because that's what the Empress is all about. Unconditional love. Right? 
But to get that blessing, there will be pain. Okay, because the Empress don't get the blessing without pain. You know, we talk about that a lot. You know, it's obviously been, it's time. It's time to deliver. It's it's time to face the music to get the blessing. So it is definitely time to face the music. So I feel like we have a very loving individual who is absolutely beautiful. The Empress is beautiful, abundant, has a lot to offer, has many, many options, knows their value. It's a very fertile time. But it, it looks like it's time for a delivery to me. It's time to get the reward okay it's time it's reward time 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 that's what I keep hearing it's time leaving somebody's leaving going their own way ace of pentacles reverse now this is unplanned lack of planning Lack of manifestation, letting something go. Somebody's letting something go. It's emotional disappointment. It's not realistic. It's not practical. There's no nothing solid, nothing stable, no long-term success. This is a dead end. So it looks like the it looks like this empress here, whoever the empress is, it's a feminine energy. And even masculines can take on the feminine energy. But I feel like, I mean, it's definitely a very feminine energy. This empress is saying goodbye to something that drained them or something like that. Or caused them a lot of frustrations or made them sick or something like that. Um, this is letting go. Letting, saying goodbye. So this is definitely saying goodbye. Planning. Going within. Gain some wisdom. Somebody has gained some wisdom. A lot of wisdom. Through this abandonment. This is spending time alone to create the new life. So that is what is going on. That is what's going on here. And that will require with the Eight of Cups next to the Ace of Pentacles reverse, letting something go. Just letting it go. It's like I'm dropping it. Ten of Swords. This is liberation. Ten of Swords reverse. It's freedom. Freedom from suffering. It's the end of suffering. It is. It's time. It's time for your reward. It's time for you to receive. And it's interesting because when I saw the Five of Pentacles reverse, I wanted to say receive. But I stopped myself. It's time to receive some sort of, <laughs> I don't know, reward. Um, but the Ten of Swords reverse is liberation. This is the end of suffering. Going down a new path. I mean, the Hermit is about going down a new path. Perhaps alone. This is, a, this is some sort of enlightenment. It's, an, it's, a, it's a spiritual awakening of some sort. This is freedom. This is absolutely freedom from a painful experience that caused somebody a lot of grief, put it that way, abandonment, you know, pain, pain. Five of wands. Now, the Five of Wands is some sort of competition. It's some sort of game. Somebody's been playing games or they've been highly competitive. This is a player energy. This is the end of playing games, right? It is. Now, the, this is struggle. Five of Wands is a struggle. It's a power struggle. Somebody is struggling. They need to go within. They need to go within to, to, to figure out how they're going to stop playing this game or whatever it is to get out, get out of it. 
you know. There's been some sort of competition, but this is a 10 next to it. This is the end of the competition. It's the end of the game. It is. This game is over. All done playing games. It's time to reflect and plan and deal with the pain of removing yourself from the game or to or to come up with a plan that removes yourself from the game whatever the game or the competition there's a lot of competition here okay this is a, this is a big competition somebody's been competing playing games right Queen of Swords reversed. Now the Queen of Swords reversed. You don't like to play games, and she don't play games in a very nice way. Queen of Swords in reverse plays dirty. She does play dirty. So hmm. there could be some harsh words that are said. There could be a fight even on this day with the Five of Wands next to the Queen of Swords reversed. There could be a fight. There could be a fight that causes somebody to walk away. Says, you know what? I'm done playing this game. Might be this fucking game with the Queen of Swords reversed. You know? Now, the Ten of Swords reversed is, uh, I don't know, things could be getting worse. There could definitely be a fight. There could. Now, this is the, the Ten of Swords reversed. There's nothing you can do. It's over. It's over. I feel like we have an individual that is, is almost like pissed off. You know, they may be pissed off and they're, they're throwing something away. You know, they're just like, you know what, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this anymore. You know, it could be, we could have an individual that just knows their worth, that just, just reflects on everything that has happened and figures out their worth because the Empress knows their worth. Okay, the Empress is the, is the, um, well, the goddess of value, okay? She knows her value. She's the, she's the queen of all queens, right? Saying goodbye, walking away, leaving, going within, all done fighting, all done playing games, there could be an argument, just saying. There could definitely be an argument. There could be something that is unplanned that is coming. Somebody may not know that something is coming. It's unplanned. You know, some if somebody's been lying or they've been hiding some things or they've not been telling the truth, you know, that, that could cause a problem on this day. Um, because the Ace of Pentacles reverse is unplanned, unplanned fight of some sort or argument or outcome. Um, Four of Swords reverse. That's like exhausted. We have somebody here that is, is so fed up. They are so fed up and they are frustrated and they are just ready. They are ready. It's kind of like when you, so for those of you that have had been pregnant and had a baby, you get to that end, you get to the end of the nine months and you are ready. You're ready. And, and this person's ready. I showed you the card a little while ago. They're ready. They're ready to pop. It's ready. And this is frustrated, exhausted. I'm ready. So this is ready. We have somebody here that is ready. They're ready for their new life. Not, they don't want to play games anymore. And I feel like they're planning their next move. Planning their retreat. So there's some sort of retreat here. So I feel like this day is about is about planning. Planning the... Um, the new life. Right? Right? 
what is this queen of swords reverse and the queen of swords is where it is in reverse is could be somebody that just wants to be alone and the hermit is here as well and the four so i feel like we have this is a day of wanting to be alone you could have somebody that is upset you know very unforgiving energy with the, with the queen of swords reversed i don't forgive you i'm never gonna forgive you ever The star, why is this happening? Why is this happening? There's some poor help here as well. No help is arriving. You have to do it yourself. Nobody's going to help you. You have to take care of yourself. I feel like we have somebody here that has lost their glimmer, right? They've lost their shine. They've lost their inner beauty. They've forgotten who they are, right? That's where they've been. There's a lack of spirituality and they've been exhausted and there's illness here as well. And I feel like now it's time, it's time, right? I just, I know I keep saying that it's time to face the music, right? So I feel like this day is about walking away from whoever it is that is competing with you or playing games with you and going within and going down your own path. That's what this is. I feel like we have a major loss here as well with the five of pentacles reversed and the ace of pentacles reversed. You know, it's a major loss. We, it feels like there is somebody here that has or is throwing something away or they've been thrown away, abandoned by another person. You know, and now it's time. It's you know, and now it's time to stop focusing on that emotional disappointment and go within and plan your new life. So that's what this is about. Okay, it's about planning. It's about uh, facing the struggle, facing the reality that has been ignored. Okay, this is lack of reality. This is ignored. Somebody has ignored the reality. That whoever it is that they've been, you know, waiting for with the Eight of Cups to come back with the Eight of Cups with the Ten of Swords reverse, it's like waiting for somebody to come back that hurt them isn't coming. This is an awakening, so I feel like it's it's a time of of, of planning. Okay, this is planning, planning, planning your new life, planning for that birth. Getting ready. It's kind of like nesting, right? You, when you get ready to have a have a baby. I'm not saying that everybody's going to have a baby. So don't get that in your head. Um, but, you know, you get prepared. This is about getting prepared for that new life. Getting all the ducks in a row. And I think there's gonna it's going to be a little chaotic. I do feel like it, even though you're going within, I feel like it's going to be a little chaotic. Because there's a lot, of, lot to be done. There could be competing interests as well. Mm. I see exhaustion here, tired, very, very tired, you know, very tired, need, need to uh, go within and, and, and take time, you need, this is all about time, the world, the world reversed, the world reversed is uh, lacking goals, frustration, not learning from mistakes, lack of closure, unfinished business, lack of success. We have somebody here that needs an attitude adjustment. They don't, they don't, uh, they're, they're hanging on to the past. They're clinging to the past. It's time to step into that new life. It's time to st start the new chapter. It's time to, uh, you know, the world card is the end of a chapter, but this is reversed. Somebody's like, Holding on to the past. Let go of the past. For some of you, there could also be something that is coming back from the dead. Okay, just got to be honest with the Ten of Swords reverse and the world reverse. And I know I'm changing it up. But that is, there could be some unfinished business here that causes a fight. 
You know, I do see a fight with the with the five of wands next to the queen of swords and the star reversed. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yep. There could be an argument. There could be a fight. There could be some nasty words that are said. We could have somebody here that is bitter. They're hurt. They've been hurt. They've been suffering. They're exhausted and they're fed up. We could have somebody that you know has been thinking about it. This person. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It feels like this is about letting go. With, with that Ace of Pentacles reverse, this is letting go. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. You know, the Ace of Pentacles reverse, that's, that's nothing solid. Nothing to invest in. It's a loss. It's a huge loss. Somebody is losing something of huge value. And I feel like they're losing it because of competitiveness, because they're a player, because uh, I don't see any love here either. I mean, where's the love? The Empress is love, right? The Empress is unconditional love. She does everything with love. But other than that, I don't see any love in these cards. So we may have somebody here that, you know, has been holding on to a one-sided relationship where there's no love. And the, and, the, and the hermit is all about realization. It's like going within, accepting, realizing, you know, realizing the truth. And I think there's been ignoring the truth here. There's been a lack of clarity. There has been. Um, but that world card is clinging to the past when there's a bright future ahead in reverse. We have somebody here that hasn't learned from their mistakes. And they've been stuck in the present, refusing, refusing to explore new avenues. When there's a new avenue right here. So I feel like on this day, it will be about going within and planning your next move. And probably thinking about the past quite a bit because the world is in reverse and this is doing a lot of thinking. Thinking about the games, thinking about the competition, thinking about uh, the pain. Okay, this is thinking about the past, the competition, the games, and the pain. And planning the retreat. So that is what this day is about. Good luck.